you know, since I've been here for the three years that I've been blessed to doing this show, I've always said that I've been blessed by my guests, and uh, I have a wonderful guest today, someone whom I've met recently, um, Ella T. Newman, a banker, image consultant, college professor, a lovely and wonderful lady, and uh, we've had some great conversations about self-image, especially for women. You know, I can relate to guys get a little, you know, but maybe you don't shave as much, or you put on a few pounds, or you really don't care what you look like, and how um, making yourself look better can do wonders for you. A little background on Ella. Um, she is a graduate of the College of New Rochelle, has taken courses at Manhattanville College, has studied at the American Banking Association, um, her BA is from the City College of New York, an MBA degree from, in finance from Baruch College, and she has a certificate from the Fashion Institute of Technology and Image Consulting. Ella, I can just go on and on, I mean, but it's, it's wonderful to have you here. How's the yeah, weather where you're you. at? Thank you, Tony. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm uh, excited about this opportunity to talk about how important a person's image is in making the right first impression. And um, after having over 30 years as a private banker working with high net worth individuals, families, and also uh, I was an executive recruiter for a period of time, uh, so I know how important looking right and being and having the right attitude is to uh, make that all important first impression. And what I've done with many of my clients as they are moving into different phases of their lives is to help them refocus on their efforts and move in new directions. And that requires updating their professional image and combining my background in financial services and my love of fashion. Um, fashion has always been very important to me, and this is a real sort of career shift, but I decided it was a good idea because I wanted at this stage of my life to do something that would be a lot of fun, but yet fit into my background. And also, as I was growing up, fashion was very important to me because my mother was a fashion designer. And so looking right was always part of my life. And, um, and giving that right first impression is really so meaningful for everyone. What most people don't realize is that when you meet someone, the first thing they see is the way you look, and that makes up about 55% of what that first impression is made of. And the next 30% is how you sound, and the last 7% is what you say. So as you can see by what I'm telling you, uh, looking right is extremely important. And so, um, just to go on on that in that vein, um, I take, took a look at the word image, and I broke it down into its components, which I decided was important to think about when you're putting together that right look. So, if we look at each letter, I'm looking at the I as impact. You want to be sure that the effect is what you are aiming for. M is for meaningful that the look you have represents who you are and want to be. A is for attitude, a positive one makes all the difference. G is for greatness, have confidence, and that confidence leads to greatness and comes through. E is for excitement, being excited about what you are doing makes you shine. And if people remember that, that's really going to have an impact on the results that they're going to get. Now, it's, it's interesting. Um, we talked about our hometowns. Yours was Riverdale, New York. Mine was Stanford, Connecticut, a, uh, something I wear proudly to this day. In many cases, uh, for the values I learned, in many cases, for perhaps having survived some of it. But uh, one of the things that um, there was an, um, an elderly tailor, um, Mr. Zemo, whom I would visit when I would go to town as I got older, and he would look at me and he would say, uh, I am the last surviving tailor, Tony, in this town. There used to be 16 men shops. Can you name them? I'd maybe get to like eight or nine. He'd rattle off the others and he'd shake his head and he'd say, that's where 
good tailoring and good posturing and good imaging is gone. Everything now is in the Walmart, which is unfortunately, I think, a lot of what we do. You know, we just kind of buy something off the rack and put it on and, you know, go about our lives. And uh, But it seems like um, in many, many cases, we're really doing ourselves a disservice if we're not looking our best. Right. Very, very true. And as an image consultant, it's more important to understand what what characteristics make up the person's look. And that consists of more than just the physical characteristics, which are important to evaluate. And as consultants, I really go into depth of, in uh, terms of looking at a person's visual appearance in terms of the shape of their face, the shape of their body, uh, their... And then more importantly, though, it's one thing to look at the physical, but it's more important to know what their inside focus is in terms of their goals, their preferences, the lifestyle. And that getting that right and understanding where they're coming from and what they want, what their goals and objectives are, what message they're trying to project, um, and um, how they naturally come across and what others see when they see them, all these factors make a difference, and so just walking into Walmart and picking up something off the rack isn't necessarily going to help them get to where they want to be or make that great first impression. Um, it's really more involved than that, and sometimes we can't see it ourselves, and you need an outside eye to help you with that, which is what I do. But even having a conversation with people that know you, if you feel confident in confiding in them and letting them know what your goal is and objective is in, in terms of how you want to come across, um, then they may be able to provide you with some feedback. And, you know, there's a lot of ways. Some of us want to be very approachable, but some want to be more authoritative. And different clothing looks and styles will impart that. So it's important to have a sense of understanding of what that look is and how to get that look that you are hoping to mm -hmm. achieve. Now, l let me ask you this as far as clients that may come to you. Um, is it usually a case of this is what I want to look like or this is where I need to go? Or is it a case of I need to go somewhere now, help me be my best me? Or is it a blend of the two or some hybrid or amalgam, if you will? Well, it, it is a hybrid. It, it's really about understanding what you're trying to accomplish with the way you look. So in terms of the clients, also it depends on the particular goals of the clients. And the clients I work with are very, for example, when I'm working with professionals, um, and maybe a college grad who's stepping into the workforce, and maybe people who have lost their jobs or someone who's gotten a promotion or starting a different career. Um, in terms of personal changes in their lives, they may have just gotten, or be getting married or just gotten married, going through a divorce, maybe empty nesters, other things they're going through. Or there may be a change even in their health. Suddenly they've gained some weight, they've lost some weight. They're going through an illness. They 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 may need a person who acquires special sizes. They may be very tall, very short, very very wide, very whatever. And they need to think about mm -hmm. how that all comes into play. They may have changed their geographic location. They may need a warmer wardrobe, a cooler wardrobe. So all of that comes into um, how they're going to figure out um, what their look is and how. Uh, what they're projecting, again, the message that they need to project, they want to project, the goals and objectives they have, um, and, who, and who they are. And it, it's what they wear um, projecting all those things to the people that they're interacting with. Well, you know, and, and there's so few of us uh, in, in the human race that are, are of perfect proportion, even those whom we might look at and say, you are of perfect proportion, they will sit there and say, no, my this is too this, or my that is too that, or I've got too big of a this, or too small of a that. And I'm reminded of, you know, the late Jackie Gleason, 
And, you know, he, of course, for, you know, I, I have a mix of uh, viewers and listeners, believe me. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, a lot of them didn't know who Jackie Gleason was. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, go look him up if, if not. But um, when he would come on his show and he was dressed to the nines, not playing Ralph Cramden, but playing mm -hmm. Jackie Gleason, he looked magnificent and he wore his clothes oh so well. And they were perfectly tailored. And I mean... I and, and 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 to me he was the sort of um, shall we say uh, model for one of uh, you, you don't need every physical gift to look your best. Very true, and uh, that's an important factor. And you need you have to realize that you have to address the way you look, what your shape really is, and there are specific uh, ways to pick clothes in terms of fabric style texture, uh, color, and I, I do a lot of work with that. When I work with an individual, I analyze their existing shape, and I look at um, where they may be a little richer, whether it's in the middle or it's uh, in another part of their anatomy, and take the right, the right clothes with the right look so that they will come away looking very good no matter what they're uh, actual physical makeup is. And there's enough ways to get that. Even if you can't you can buy clothes off the rack, it is good to know, like you said, the good tailor that can make the adjustments because the clothes you're buying often are in standard sizes and that doesn't work so well. So uh, you have to be open to getting someone to potentially, if needed, tailor something for you so it's appropriate. It's also about accessories and the things you add that draw people's attention. Mm -hmm. For a man, it's often the tie, and it's the, I mean, he's got a pocket square that he puts in the carpet, or some men might even put on, the, like, a, some type of pin or something, and it, it gets people's attention. Um, wearing the right colors, again, is an important factor, and the right fabrics and textures, all these things play into it. And for women, obviously, there's far more that comes into it. And if they wanted a simple way of actually making a great first impression for a woman, it's it's a matter of some of the accessories. It's having a, a, a statement pocketbook and the right shoes and a great coat. Uh, that can have an impact and in terms of because very often we meet people just walking down the street and you want to have if the first things they see are those things. If those look right, people will begin to start forming an impression of who you are. So it's important, and what I help people do after we've analyzed their look is also go through their closet and do a decluttering and determine, you know, what they should have in there and what they shouldn't have in there and what's going to help them and in terms of, again, raising their confidence, getting them the self esteem, getting ready for the success, and streamlining their wardrobe and simplifying it so that it saves them time and energy when they're going through that. and and working within their budget to make them come up with a look that's going to be right. It's very important that the package on the outside matches the package on the inside, and that helps manage perception, it increases confidence, and helps people go seamlessly through whatever situation they're going to face. Well, and, and I know that uh, a lot of your clientele must be women of, of middle age or attaining a certain age. And the, um, a, a lot of them, I, I must imagine, have, uh, are, are coming to you because their, their self-images over time have taken a beating. You know, they, were, uh, they might have considered themselves inc uh, incredibly attractive when they were younger and maybe uh, being a, um, a mother or a wife, going through some rough times, not taking care of themselves the way they would like to. And they're trying to, they're, they're sort of trying to get back on the beam. And uh, how much do you have to do in cases to sort of, you know, as the old song says, accentuate the positive and, and kind of get the thinking right again uh, where the other stuff can follow? Mm -hmm. Well, one of the things I work on with them, and some of those questions we talked about in terms of what kind of look they're hoping to achieve. But one of the ways I like to work with a person is to create a vision board. And take actually a, a piece of cardboard or something and ask them to pick 
out pictures from the magazine or wherever they can get them and things that would represent the way they might want to look, what they like to achieve in terms of this. And when they put it on this board, this can help them visualize a look that they're aiming to achieve. So if they felt they strayed from where they wanted to be or where they used to be, this is one of the ways that they can start moving towards that look and that goal again within the current framework of where they are. And working with me, I help them to achieve the confidence because so much, as I said in my definition of image, is about mm -hmm. attitude and confidence. And well, well understood. You are walking around with the right attitude, and if you understand and you are care about what you're doing, and that will that passion and that excitement about the direction you're going in will really make a difference. Whether you're going out on a job interview or you're part of a social group or whatever it is, it's that confidence and attitude that creates the self-esteem, that creates the positive image, that creates the great person. And that's part of what I work on when I work well, with Well, well understood. And believe it or not, our time is getting away from us. And there's one question I'd like to ask you in our closing moments. Can you give us uh, maybe uh, one of your pet success stories? Somebody coming to you and something that happened to them as the result of what you may have uh, done for them? Uh, well, there was this uh, woman in the financial service business who had been in it for many years, a uh, graduate of one of the top schools, and was coming along fairly well in her career, but really not making a tremendous strides. She now had an opportunity to partner with someone where they were going to be able to sell to the truly ultra-wealthy clients, the one with over a definitely well above the 10 million mark in assets. Mm -hmm. And they were going to sell to some of the largest trust companies and top law firms. And she knew that she had to now up her image to make this happen. Well, I also represent a line of clothing, clothing called the Don Caster Collection, D-O-N-C-A-S-T-E-R. Look it up online. And we put together some outfits for her to go out on her next presentation and she won a, a case with a major trust company uh, to work with, with their advisors on those top clients. And it was, I feel, certainly because of the confidence she felt in that outfit. And she's not a thin woman, she's a, and she's not a young woman, but she looks so fabulous in this outfit that we put together for her that she went in with such strength and confidence that she won the deal. I, I love stories like that. Ellen, in our closing moment, where can our friends and fans reach you? Well, they can reach me by email at ellanewman01 at gmail.com. Terrific. And I will be happy to get back to them and answer any questions they have, or if they want to send me photos and I can help them think about some changes they might want to make, that's fine as well. And if they want to get together and, and um, have me do some image consulting for them, that's even better. I do closet reviews and personal shopping and uh, analysis and help them move forward in their lives. And listen, anything that changes lives for the better, I'm for it. Ella, thanks so much, and we'll be talking soon. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Tony. Have My a great pleasure. Day. You too. Thank you. Ellen Bye. Newman, image consultant good stuff and uh, we're going to be coming back here with some football retro commercials and uh, these are classics absolute classics and uh, we're going to be coming back on with our pal Denny McLean here on Connecticut morning might be snowing outside but it's uh, very warm in my heart we'll see you in a moment